What I do, baby? I'm Aoi. He's Leo. We're Hikali Lounge, and we're doing Megalo Box Nomad Episode 9. I hope that you guys are excited, and thanks for coming back around. Go like and subscribe if you want. Now let's get into it! Oh, yes, sir. Whoa. Mark time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they're helping him? Oh, that's progress. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. It's okay. Take yeah. one step at a time. We got two two people that trust Joe now. Well, one of them's kind of like skirmy at the moment. But the other one, yeah, I, I fully believe it. Skirmy is in like using him. As an yeah. Individual? You yeah, know, you, you try. you're right. You're right. It's his job. You're right. Right. That's exactly what you mean. Stop being a cinder about it. <laughs> he doesn't have to get back in the ring if he doesn't want to, Baka. <laughs> he starts getting cinder. He's a little cinder out. <laughs> Can we listen to this? This is like elevating my um, brain cells. It's sure. Thank you. <laughs> It's uh, releasing those neurotransmitters. Yes. <laughs> those transmitters. I feel like I can They've dance released. to anything at the moment. I'm getting <laughs> ripped tonight. <laughs> R.I.P. Though. Hey, I'm going in tonight. R.I.P. The pussy that now. Da 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 da. <laughs> uh, if 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 YouTube didn't <laughs> if YouTube didn't copyright us, I would totally play this over what you were just saying. <laughs> it would work, and it works. Just to let y'all know, it works. Oh, <laughs> uh, I didn't even know this. <laughs> yeah, it did. <laughs> That's why I found it funny. It worked. <laughs> Pizza. <Pizarros. laughs> <laughs> I think this is another one of my favorite openings from the season. Doesn't even have vocals. Crazy Doesn't thing. matter. The instrumentation is really good here. It's the same reason why I ended up like an um black um black gold from um Yasuki. Mm -hmm. It's just a freaking vibe. So I vibe with it. Oh no, what's happening? I feel a death flag and it's really bad. It's such an obvious death flag and that's why I'm like, oh god, I don't want to see Sachi go go through it. Wait, is that their name? Or, crap, I know it's like an English name, but I kind of forgot. Hopefully we'll hear it at some point. Yeah, we definitely will. It was said in the first sequence, but I was vibing for a sec. I hate you, bitch. I hate you, bitch. I hate your stupid ass, your stupid haircut, and the fact that you exist. Sorry. 
Actually, no, that other kid was worse. At least she knows how to make a limiter. Limiter. But we'll see. Ugh, even fucking glasses pushes annoying. Oh no, she's having those evil facial expressions. Mm. <laughs> she wants to expand it to the military. All of them with like PTSD. God. Oh no. No. They're going to have their own version of Mac Time. God. It's not even going to be Mac Military Time's going to have a whole new different <laughs> meaning to it. It's going to be a whole new different meaning to that. Oh, God. My gosh. I knew I didn't like her. I mean, they're both scum, but mostly her. Y- Yuki Ho, Yaki Bit. Sorry. From what I've seen, from what I like, from their conversations from the previous ones, it seems like the guy is more, a little bit more empathetic to an extent. Yeah. And the girl's just cold. Very. And it was shown in the first season, too. That's why I don't like her. Yuki Ho. And I'm going to say it exclusively. Yuki how? Uh, yeah, but who's Yuri again? The previous champion. Oh yeah, the blonde dude. Uh, the the one that Joe fought in the end of the first season. Yeah, he was blonde or silver haired. He kind of looked like a Philip tool on the bottom. Silver, silver haired. <laughs> <laughs> Her brother. Honestly, I think he's just as sadistic. But the problem is, is that he probably has a bit of a layer of um, narcissism. It seems like he understands how to carry himself socially a lot better. Yeah. Kind of like a sociopath. your ideals hey great oh good Yuri you fill up tool he will be okay (laughs) actually I'm unsure Because the deck flags are going like up and up and up. I really do apologize if I'm talking too much. (laughs) Oh, wait, he is alive. Okay, okay. No. Eesh. So I knew it was death flags. Ugh. He's not dying, but he's never going to be 100%. I mean, didn't he say that the procedure might, like, be at that risk, too? He just said that he'll never be at 100%. Yeah. To what he was. was. That's all he said. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. 
I still feel sad. Oh, Sacho's winning. He don't deserve it, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, Bonjour and Santa. That was the name? Yeah. Yeah. I just need to figure out which is Santa and which is Jabuli. Yo, where does the subtitles go? Santa's the, uh, whatchamacallit? Yeah. Santa's the girl. Oh, okay. That's building. Oh, no, sorry. Santa is the, the, the kid that's using Joe for the newspapers. Oh, yeah. My bad. My bad. My bad. <laughs> Yeah, because he's such a gift to the world. Hey, hey. That sounded very shady. <laughs> yeah, just like him. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> is this for the coaches? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> this time his dream was just to keep him alive oh that's so sad <laughs> Oh, so that's what the why no, 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 fucking hate this. <laughs> You're breaking down. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out. Your dad might go through Mac time and beat your ass. Because yeah. it's not actually him. It's the program. <laughs> it's the Intel microchip. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the hummingbird and the nomad. You think they're from the same um, culture as uh, Chief? Maybe. I mean, it's That's possible. Like really... Yeah, that was like very, very coincidental. Yeah, hold up. Thank <laughs> you. 
Uf. Hmm. No. Oh, no. Joe. Oh, shoot. Oh, fuck. What are you doing? <laughs> there you go. There you go. Hmm. I might need to go back to this episode after this reaction. Hmm. Dang it, dude. So he could have been, he could have been working towards being an engineer. Yeah. So, what if the nomad isn't Joe, but it's Sachiko? Sachiko? Yeah. He's the nomad. And the hummingbird keeps on getting passed to pass to different people. I guess that was passed to Joe during that match that he saw with Mac. He probably saw mm. the risk and now started jumping in. I'm probably pulling this shit out of my ass, but I'm thinking about it. I can't agree or disagree because it's too far over my <laughs> intellect at this point. <laughs> it's too far over my contacts. I don't have enough contacts. <laughs> All right. Uh oh. Oh. <gasps> oh, damn, they really have been. Does that mean he's been falsifying the data? Towards yeah, Max? he has. That's exactly what that means. So he's fully aware of the Mac time glitches. Yeah. He just doesn't put it on the files. Yep. That's scummy. <clears throat> Very. You barely remember your wow. Oh, 
You barely win. Remember your championship fight, my dad. <sighs> What if your son says I you're scary? Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah, like I'm saying. This is manipulation. Yes, it is. Extremely. Where's that mark from? Where's that mark from? It's coming together so well. Ooh, oh. What? <laughs> what? He challenges what? Joe. Oh. Joe? Joe's not even in the ring, bro. Damn. Like, what the heck? Out of nowhere. I challenge retired person. It's my <laughs> bang. Oh, God. Now I'm anxious for him. <laughs> you get called out. I guess it makes sense because of the whole sparring match that they had that Lou had with Joe, but still. Ugh. It's just, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I, Great show as always. I'm Great definitely as always, excited though. for tomorrow's episode. Yep. Yep. So we'll see you guys when that comes out. Yep. Bye, y'all. <laughs>